Welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Omar. And today we'll be creating a sheet metal bracket in SolidWorks. And uh, in the first part, we'll be modeling the bracket in uh, SolidWorks. And in the second part, we'll be exporting our uh, uh, blank to AutoCAD for machining. So let's go to here, new and uh, click part and click OK. And now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. I am using SOLIDWORKS 2020. So first of all, uh, first of all, I'll change my uh, background to plain white and my units are in uh, MMGS. So let's go to here. Let's say uh, top plane or uh, maybe a front plane. Click sketch and uh, we'll sketch a uh, basic uh, geometry of uh, uh, bracket. So let's make one line here. Uh, one line here, uh, one line here, one line here, and uh, one line here. Uh, select this line, hold shift, and uh, select this line and make it equal. Also, this line and this line would also be equal. Uh, let's dimension these. Let's say this dimension is uh, 60 millimeters, and uh, the height is also 60 millimeters and uh, let's say this one is also 60 let's change it to maybe let's say 80 okay and uh, now we'll go to here sheet metal and i'll choose this base flange this time i'll choose uh, sheet thickness is 2 and uh, outer uh, bend radius is 4 that's fine and i'll choose this to let's say 70 millimeters from the mid plane okay that's fine and uh, you can also change shade thickness or uh, this bend radius uh, if you want uh, this bend radius is currently 2t that is uh, a two times thickness and click ok uh, now uh, let's say i need uh, two holes here one here and one here so let's go to a sketch and i'll choose this face and uh, choose this normal to view and click this circle and we'll make a circle here and uh, the dimension from here to here is uh, let's say 25 and uh, the dimension of the circle is uh, also 25 and uh, it is still under defined and uh, Let's say the dimension from uh, here to here is 35. Okay. Uh, let's mirror it. Let's make a center line from here to here. And uh, let's go to a mirror entities. Entities to mirror is this circle and mirror about is this line. And click OK. Uh, let's go to here uh, sheet metal. Uh, choose this extrude cut and choose this option link to thickness click ok and now you uh, your uh, uh, cut extrusion is done uh, next is uh, we will make uh, some uh, fillets here and uh, let's uh, change this uh, let's change this dimension let's go to your base flange and uh, under base flange Let's change this to let's say 80. Okay. Uh, now uh, I will make uh, some fillets on these edges. So go to here features, fillet, and uh, I select this edge, this edge, and uh, this edge and uh, lastly this edge and i'll change this radius to 30 okay that's fine uh, now your sheet metal bracket is ready uh, lastly i will use a very important option and that is called uh, sheet flatten so go to your sheet metal and I'll choose this option flatten and uh, it is showing your blank size so this is your blank size and uh, these are the bends 
and I'll export this uh, blank size to AutoCAD for uh, uh, machining. So uh, this is your part and this is your uh, blank. Uh, and now I will save my file to BXF for uh, machining and uh, I'll go to here save and uh, I choose this option save as uh, I already saved my file in SOLIDWORKS version so choose this one save as and uh, this time I will choose uh, uh, now I will choose this option DXF extension we have two types of extension in AutoCAD either uh, .dwg or uh, .dxf and uh, uh, I will use uh, .dxf and uh, here is a flat pattern so a part name is flat pattern part 2 select save and sheet metal and click ok and now you will see a preview in AutoCAD so this is your preview in uh, AutoCAD and uh, click save so your blank is ready with AutoCAD uh, DXF you just have to send this file to let's say CNC or uh, uh, wire cutting or uh, any uh, CAM software for machining and uh, just save it and uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial uh, I hope you like it and if you have any questions any queries related to this uh, tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos thank you